So, Endermen. They're funny fellas, and I absolutely love them to death. They're just so cool. Because of this, I have a lot of theories about them, but there's one in particular I've never heard anyone else talk about. Before we get into the biochemistry of a fictional creature, though, I need to explain a few things. First off, I'm using MatPat's Enderman theory as modified by Wifey's. I'll link both videos in the description, but the basic idea is that Endermen used to be players, or at least a player-like species. They had to flee the overworld because of some catastrophe, came to the end, and just got stuck. While there, they fell prey to the parasitic Endermite, which transformed them into the Endermen we know today, merely shells of their former selves. But this, while one of my favorite theories, is one that has been covered before. My theory is that Endermen are made of silica. Now if you're a science or a science fiction geek like me, chances are you've heard of silicon-based life as a concept. All life on Earth is carbon-based, meaning that most of the molecules that make up living things rely on carbon for their structure. This works for a few reasons, including the fact that carbon can form four chemical bonds more than any other element. This allows carbon for massive structures, like, you know, DNA. So you'd think that life couldn't exist without carbon, but that might not be entirely true. Silicon is right below carbon on the periodic table, so it can also form four chemical bonds. And it might even be one key to discovering life on other planets, which is the context where silicon-based life usually comes up in discussions. The scientific community is split on whether or not silicon-based life is actually possible, but hey, pigs don't really turn into a crazy zombie pig person when struck by lightning, so we've clearly left reality behind a long time ago when it comes to Minecraft. So what does this mean for the Endermen? Well, according to a video by SciShow, link in the description, silicon-based life has a few struggles to overcome. First off, silicon and water don't play nice. Well, doesn't that sound familiar? So, silicon-based life would need something else to use for a solvent in things like the creature's blood, potentially some sort of acid. Yes, in this theory, endermen have acidic blood, because why not? It's cool, and it makes the science more fun. Another issue is the relationship silicon has with oxygen. Silicon loves oxygen, like, too much. When it bonds with oxygen, it doesn't like to let go. This potentially means that a silicon-based organism would constantly need to intake more, which is usually found in rocks. And guess what? Purper, made from chorus fruit, is a stone-type block. This means that chorus fruit could also be silicon-based, potentially drawing its supply from menstone and itself serving as a good supply for endermen. In fact, this explains why so much stuff in the end is stone-like. Additionally, silicon bonding with oxygen might work in a living creature, similarly to how carbon and oxygen work in real animals. Carbon and oxygen are taken in, then locked into carbon dioxide, which looks as energy. And the carbon dioxide is relatively easy to get rid of, just, just breathe out. The issue here is that silicon dioxide is sand. Sand isn't that easy to get rid of, but you know what else is sand? Glass. And ender pearls look a lot like glass originally did when it was a side product of making iron, before we figured out how to make it clear. Plus, there's the detail that eyes of ender make a glass sound when they break. But this doesn't necessarily mean ender pearls are merely a waste product, because we have magic. Perhaps the glass in this case serves as some sort of focus or binary to help an enderman teleport, and it's consumed after a few uses. If this is the case, then more glass would always need to be produced, which is great because that's where our Enderman is getting the energy to live anyway. It all ties in really nicely. And to close, let me tell you a little story. The Endermen were once humans who found themselves trapped in a foreign dimension, after trying desperately to escape the legions of undead that roamed the overworld. Eventually, another, much more sinister disease overcame them. The Endermites infected their bodies, transforming them atom by atom, cell by cell, into something alien. But careful study has now finally revealed their secrets. Like a human body uses water, the Endermen use acid, 
making their blood caustic to other creatures. In place of carbon, silicon forms their cells, gathered from the chorus plant, which draws its supply from endstone. Ender pearls were once the greatest mystery, but it is now believed that glass, formed inside every ender cell as a byproduct, is gathered into the pearls, which focus the Enderman's magic to allow for teleportation. Yet, despite their newfound magical power, it is said that the Endermen still yearn for their lost humanity. So that's it! I hope you guys like this. I'm usually an art channel, but it seems I'm slowly morphing into the realm of theories now. This video also probably took a long time to make, so please let me know if the investment is worth it and if this is something you'd like to see more of. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would leave a comment letting me know what you think, that would mean the world to me. Bye!